Alright, what's going on y'all? So today I'm going to be talking about the secret to building muscle while running as a hybrid athlete. How to actually build muscle um, as a hybrid athlete. This is something that, frankly, most people in this space don't even mention or talk about. Um, and it's something that's extremely important um, to know and to, to apply if you are trying to actually build muscle while running um, as a hybrid athlete. So, you know, right now there's a big hybrid athlete boom going on. You know, everybody right now is trying to um, get better at running while also putting on muscle um, for good reason. You know, that's really, really awesome to, to have a really, really impressive physique um, and to have the strength that comes with it and to actually be able to run um, long distances at the same time. It was pretty badass. So everybody right now is jumping into this. You know, this comes from people like Nick Bear and some others, um, you know, really, really kind of making the hybrid game really, really popular right now. Unfortunately, with that, you have so many people jumping into, especially young people jumping into this right now, um, with not very realistic expectations of how to actually manage building muscle um, while running. This is why right now you see, I would say 95% of the hybrid athletes you see out there on social media right now, while yes, they are um, cut, um, most don't actually have uh, a substantial amount of muscle at all. So this is talking about the actual truth to having a substantial amount of muscle, building a substantial amount of muscle um, as a hybrid athlete or while you're running. So. Let's take um, the hybrid monsters, for example, the, the big, big, big guys that really typically are the ones that are inspiring people to jump into the hybrid game. You know, you've got Nick Bear, you've got Steve Weatherford, you've got um, Alex Viata, um, Chris Gethin, um, even take someone like myself, for example. Um, you know, these people that have a lot more muscle than your typical hybrid athlete that you're going to see, you know, running a fast marathon and having a little bit of muscle, but frankly, just being cut. The difference with that is, is it is extremely harder to build muscle than it is to maintain muscle. This is a topic that frankly, not many people wanna talk about, but to build muscle takes a, a lot of energy and energy in the form of calories and then effort with training. Um, then it also takes a lot of time. Once you have that muscle built, especially if it's got really, really solid muscle maturity, I mean, it's not new muscle tissue. It is extremely easy to maintain that muscle. So it's hard to build the muscle. It's extremely easy to maintain the muscle. So my point here is when you see all these hybrid monsters out there, like the Nick Bears, Alex Viata, Steve Weatherford, even take myself, for example, if you go back on all their stories, every single one of these hybrid monsters that you've seen has taken a time in the beginning or close to the beginning of their fitness journey and built up that substantial amount of muscle. They're not building the substantial amount of muscle as they're building up <clears throat> the mileage on the endurance side. <clears throat> it's not how to actually do it. Yes, you can build muscle while running and building up um, mileage, and I've talked about this in other videos, but to have a substantial amount of muscle built in place and really, really get that distance, dense muscle maturity, um, typically you're gonna have to devote some time to where that is um, absolutely the main focus and the hybrid side or even the running side um, dips down a little bit. Um, I've talked about the balance between um, volume and intensity, the hybrid athlete spectrum, how you have endurance on one side um, and your strength or physique modality on the other side. Um, I've talked about how your, your focus needs to shift depending on what the goals are. That's the case here um, with building the muscle. So um, back to my point with building versus maintaining. So take me for example, you know, the last four years, um, I went all in with bodybuilding, only focusing on bodybuilding, doing what I had to do as a pro bodybuilder. And every single day, um, unless I was in a cut, you know, preparing for a contest prep, every single day was focused um, on building new muscle tissue. Um, you know, the amount of food that went into that, the amount of training that went into that, having recovery locked down, um, everything was in place to build that muscle. Now take it on the other side to where now, um, you know, I'm getting ready for this 100K coming up in, in a couple months. You know, right now my focus is on building up mileage. And with that, I have wanted to streamline my physique and actually bring down um, my size a little bit, bring down the muscle a little bit to allow the running side to be a little bit more efficient. And I can't tell you how hard that's been to actually streamline the physique. You know, starting two months ago, um, as I started ramping up on my mileage again, I was sitting at right about 2.30, um, and with me actively trying to bring down weight, streamline the physique, all of that, and me dropping training volume in the gym, um, I'm still at 2.26 this morning. So my point here is, is if you have the really, really locked in muscle maturity, that solid tissue locked in place, it's gonna be super easy to maintain that tissue, but at the same time, it's very, very demanding 
to build the tissue up. So once you build the tissue and you have that really, really locked in set in place, it's easy to maintain that. It's easy to maintain it while running as a hybrid athlete, even um, as you're, you're bumping up mileage and all of that. But in the beginning, trying to do both at the same time, this is where you're seeing 95% of the hybrid people out there looking exactly the same. No one's putting on any substantial amount of mass. That's gonna come from you focusing on a, having a period of time where you actually are focused on putting on that mass. You're not focused on putting on the mass while trying to also, you know, hit a PR in the marathon. You know, these are two opposing modalities. You have, um, you know, your, your endurance, let's take endurance running on this side, and then you have um, your aesthetics on this side or your, your, your strength modality on this side. These are opposing modalities. They don't um, work very congruently with each other. Um, you know, the running side wants you to be streamlined and really, really efficient for running. And on the, the flip side with the lifting, your body wants to adapt to, uh, you know, really, really putting on that, that, that size and holding that size and that strength and all of that. So these are opposing modalities. So if you're focused on, you know, both at the same exact time, this is where the results typically aren't great. So my recommendation, if you are trying to put on a substantial amount of muscle and have that as a hybrid athlete while you're running, this is where I, I recommend taking a seasonal approach. So just like I talked about with the, the hybrid athlete spectrum where you have running on one side of the spectrum and you've got um, your, your lifting on one side of the spectrum, this is where depending on where you are in the year, you'll go ahead and dictate the amount of effort and energy that goes into one side. So you might be training um, with more volume over on the lifting side when you're really, really trying to focus on putting on size and the volume on the running side um, should come down with that. Now, if you're trying to really, really put on a legitimate, serious amount of muscle, um, this is where I recommend the seasonal approach. So either um, A, you know, take a substantial amount of time each year, you know, that could be six months or that could even frankly be a full year where um, the focus on the running side comes down. This does not mean you need to stop running. You can absolutely build muscle while running, um, but volume does need to come down. So, you know, if you're someone who's running 40, 50 miles a week, um, you know, I'll bring that down to say 20 to 30 miles a week and at the same time bump up the energy and the attention and the volume you have on the lifting side. This means eating for that muscle. You know, you are burning on the running side, so you're gonna have to eat even more than just a typical person focusing on bodybuilding. But the point here is have that focus during that season on the bodybuilding and let the volume on the running side come down. And this needs to be a substantial period of time. So, you know, this is where I'd say bare minimum, um, have, you know, six months out of the year directly focused on building muscle and all that. And you can still maintain the running side, uh, but you're not really trying to necessarily set any PRs or really, really improve on that side because you, right now the focus is um, building, building muscle. So then once you've got that muscle, then what happens is you'll want to go ahead and lock it in place, have a period of time before you just jump into a cut, um, you know, that you go ahead and lose that new tissue, go ahead and let that new tissue lock in place and then when it's time to go ahead and devote more attention to the running side, now what you'll want to do is maintain your strength numbers over on the lifting side, even if you're dropping volume. So let's say you're doing three sets per movement. Now you can go ahead and drop this to two sets per movement, but you're going to want to go ahead and really, really focus on keeping your strength numbers. So whatever you've got in your logbook, keeping that locked in. That's going to then hold all that tissue. That's what's happening with me right now. You know, I'm jacking up my running mileage. Um, we're going to be at 40 miles this next week. Um, for the week and, and that's only going up. We're going to be in the 70s um, before too long. And as that's happening, volume over on the lifting side has dropped down, meaning the amount of sets per body part has come down, but I'm still lifting essentially the same strength numbers as I was two months ago. So um, it's locked in on the logbook um, and I'm able to hold that. And what that's doing is that stimulus of you holding your strength numbers is going to be the stimulus needed to hold on to that muscle tissue. You're essentially giving your body reason to hold on to that muscle tissue. This is why it's so easy to maintain muscle tissue, but it's hard to gain it. So my whole point here is, you know, this is something that most people don't want to talk about in this space. Most people want to make it seem super easy to build muscle at the same time as killing it on the running side um, as a hybrid athlete. And frankly, you just need to go ahead and have periods of time where you're focused on either one or the other. And then you can go ahead and still, you know, either A, maintain or slowly improve um, on the flip modality um, while the focus isn't there. Meaning, you know, if you go ahead and you're having to bump uh, or bring down the running mileage a little bit to allow yourself to be able to build muscle, it's not like you're losing, um, 
aerobic capacity or anything like that on the running side, as long as you keep a base level of miles um, and work in there. Um, but it should be brought down to the minimum to hold that. Um, that way it can give you the best possible chance of um, building actual series size. Um, but this is the truth about how to actually build substantial amount of size as a hybrid athlete. You know, all the hybrid monsters you're seeing out there, um, they didn't build all of that size while they're also building up the running side as well. Um, you know, these were taken in two different times. This is where you'll see Nick Bear when he's getting ready for, um, you know, a marathon PR or an ultra. Um, you know, this is where he really, really streamlines down and the focus isn't really putting on muscle. Um, it's actually kind of the opposite. Um, muscle comes back, you know, you've got muscle maturity. Um, and then two, it's super easy to maintain the muscle that you've gotten. It's just hard to build the muscle. Um, so that's that's the key, guys. You got to build the muscle first. You're trying to build the muscle as you're trying to also um, really, really ramp up the running side. Um, you're just shooting yourself in the foot, and you're frankly hurting yourself on both sides of the table. It'd be better if you know you took one period of the year focused on really, really um, conquering the running side, then you took one part that you're really, really focused on more of the physique or at least building up the muscle side because you can have a really, really aesthetic cut chiseled physique um, if you don't even take the time to build up substantial muscle tissue. I'll throw up a picture of when I was um, hybrid training right after ultra running. Um, and th this was essentially doing what I'm talking about. So essentially I was building muscle while um, still ramping up mileage. Um, but that was about the max I could get, um, you know, where I'm at now, this came from me taking a substantial amount of time just focused on building muscle. Um, but that's the point for here today. I'm um, super easy to um, maintain muscle, but it's hard to build muscle. Um, and this is why, you know, if you're trying to build muscle while running or as a hybrid athlete, um, you know, the, 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 the secret out there and where you're seeing all these hybrid monsters is they built that muscle tissue um, in a season where they're really focused on actually building the tissue and not as focused on the running. Um, so that's how to do this. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Be happy, be positive, be powerful. Have a great rest of your day.